Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's me, D-Load. I hope you're having a great week and I hope your recovery is going well. This week what we're going to be doing is a little bit of a home workout. I've had a few comments in the Instagram and a few comments in the YouTube channel that have asked for home workouts for people who are stuck at home during this current phase. Um, we were going to do a lot of running and cycling. I was going to show you all the things I've been up to in my Ironman training and all the activities I've been up to. But it, it, this is a, a channel for you guys. So whatever you guys need, that's what I'm going to try and put together. So today's vlog is all about home workout without any equipment. And we're going to throw a few extra ones in there if you do buy a little bit of equipment as well. So the first exercise we're going to do today is the single leg quarter squat. So this was given to me very early in my uh, rehabilitation and one that I still do today, but I do it weighted. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, essentially stand on one leg and uh, go into this position and then back again. So it's only the quarter. You're not trying to get all the way down and up and it's engaging all this muscle here. So we're gonna do it from the side so you can see, because the temptation is, is to sit backwards into the quarter squat. And you don't wanna do that. You wanna be activating the muscle. Um, directly around your, your knee. So we're going to do into the quarter squat like this, back nice and square, hold your core and then go down and then up again. Okay, so what I would do, I would do that around uh, 10 times per leg and again remember twice as much on the bad leg, yeah? So we don't want that good leg getting ahead of where it should be, we want that bad leg to be catching up to the good leg. Okay, so that's the single leg quarter squat. Don't go too deep, don't get into pain, just get it so you're nice and square on your foot, take that foot off the ground, you'll feel yourself balancing, go down to where it's just beyond comfortable, but not painful, and then back up again. So that's my good leg. So let's try it with my bad so you can sort of see where I'm at. Yeah, and then back again, and that's what we do. So that's the single leg quarter squat. Okay, for the next exercise, you can see I'm now raised. I've used two 20 plates, um, but you're bound to have a box at home or a stepper or even just a step outside your house. So for this exercise, what we're doing is called essentially, it's called an eccentric lower, I think. Um, now what we're going to do is basically start at the, at the, at the top position of the, steep, of, the, of, of the step. When you're at the top position of the step, you're going to take one leg off and you're just going to go down nice and slow till it touches the ground. Now the advanced version of that is that you come back up as well, which is essentially the quarter squat, what we've just done. But for this, it's all about control and just going down nice and slow till the other leg touches the ground and stops again. It's gonna work all down this bit of your leg, all down the quad there, and it's gonna give you some real stability. So that again was my good leg. Let's look at my bad leg and see if I can still do it to show you. There you go. So. I can feel that working all down here every time I do it. And again, I'll do that maybe 12 times, eight to 12 times, two, three rounds. Sets and reps are entirely up to your body really. So I'm not a personal trainer. Um, but one thing I would say is, you know, don't do it to fatigue on the first set. Just do it a couple, start getting the technique and then just add more as you feel more confident. Um, you'll feel it working. These exercises here are all body weight. Since stand up on here, I go down there, I've got no extra weight on me, no dumbbells, no nothing. And even on my good leg, I can feel that working all down the muscle there. So again, you bump, I would just, I would guess you'll have a step outside your house. Please don't fall. And I would guess you'll have something that you can stand on. Make sure it's nice and secure because you are gonna put all your body weight going forward, okay? So that's the eccentric lower. Um, again, working very similar muscles to the quarter squat, but on the eccentric, what you're doing is you're uh, putting the muscle under tension for longer, which is going to help it grow, okay? So the next exercise uh, I call around the clock. I, I actually found this on YouTube from uh, another physiotherapist when looking into the VMO and Achilles uh, tendons when I was looking at how to strengthen them. And this one is so good. Um, I feel it working all parts of the knee. So I'm gonna do a couple of different views for you so you can see what's going on. Um, so essentially, again, these all sort of relate back to the quarter squat because that is where you're gonna uh, generate that main sort of uh, power from your, from your leg. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go into the quarter squat, but with the other leg, you're gonna put it out in front of you and back, and you go that side, and back, 
out here, back, behind, back, all the way behind like a lunge, but you're going to keep going like this, and then you're going to go all the way back. If you notice, basically I'm just doing lots and lots of quarter squats, um, but all the different slight variants working all around the, uh, the sort of hamstring area and the quad, and you, if you're more advanced, you might want to hold some weights, uh, depending where you're at in your recovery. But this is going to burn because it's going to just work around, work around you constantly under tension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that from a different angle now, uh, so you can see it from my point of view exactly what is happening with the legs. Okay. So that was really easy with the good leg. So what I'm going to do is show you with the bad leg, because that's all what you're going to try and do. So this is my bad leg with the scar. I'm going to go out and around. There we go. Okay guys, so you're gonna find that really taxing. I find that really taxing now, and I'm pretty active. So just do that once, around the clock and back again, and uh, so whatever feels comfortable. You're gonna really feel that your leg's under tension because you've just done all them quarter squats, and you've just done even more quarter squats at slightly different variants. It does get taxing, but um, if you're in the more advanced section, you can do that a couple of times, two or three times, around the clock on each leg, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think that's like. So this next one's a bit of a game. Uh, you're going to need a rolled up towel or a pad or something that makes your foot slightly uneven on the ground and you're going to need a ball of some kind. And what we're going to do is essentially get into the quarter squat again and from there, for about 30 seconds to a minute, you're going to play catch with yourself on the wall and you're going to find yourself really imbalanced and trying to fight your leg to stay stable but staying in that quarter squat and it's gonna keep you massively under tension. It's gonna work all the fine intricate muscles in your leg, work all the little tendons and, and just engage everything in that leg that's been lying dormant for a while. It's gonna help with your walking, your stability. This exercise was given to me by my physiotherapist and uh, at the time I had a personal trainer and he was helping me with this and he would throw the ball and make it hard for me. So if you've got someone in the house who can do that, don't have to use the wall you can use your kids or friend or family member to throw you the ball and you can try and catch it and just get that hand-eye coordination going with the leg so we'll have a look at that right now okay so we're going down to the quarter foot again our favorite but this time on the imbalanced uh device so either your towel rolled up towel or a balance board or i've just got this um squat kind of pad you get down here like this and we're going to go for about 30 seconds just kind of throwing the ball at the wall, stay in balance. This is my bad leg, so you can see I can work this fairly well. It's quite good fun to do it with a weird shape ball uh, like this. Because you don't know where it's going to go, so it makes you have to work for it. So do that for about 30 seconds to a minute on each leg. You're going to feel yourself be under so much tension. I actually find it really good fun. I used to love doing that in the gym, I still do it at home uh, with a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, cricket ball, NFL ball that was bought for my birthday. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy that one, I enjoy that. Use the rolled up towel or anything that makes your foot just not even. It's going to really work around that uh, knee, work the tendon, make sure you're kind of not just doing the straight up and downs all the time. So in the last exercise for the non-equipment workout, uh, I'm gonna refer you back to two videos ago where I showed you how to do the glute bridge. So what we've worked so far with everything here is quad, hamstring, a little bit of glute, and uh, we've got your leg firing again. It should be, if you're doing these uh, advanced moves or these moves, you should be feeling a little bit of strain in the leg. But what we need to do is get the glute firing because that's where you get a lot of stability and a lot of issues if you don't start firing that up. So go back two uh, episodes ago to one of my earlier videos where I show you the glute bridge. The link is in the description below. And if you have a look at that, 
there's a demonstration video, you can do that on the floor, or you can do that on a raised bench or bed, and start applying weight. All of these exercises you can start applying weight to as you become more familiar with. So uh, the eccentric lower that I showed you, you can hold dumbbells or a bag of sugar, whatever's best for you. Or in the quarter squat, you can start holding things again. So as you become stronger, you can start holding things to uh, get better weight and start building the muscle up. And hopefully that means that you don't start wasting, especially while we're sitting in the house all the time. Okay guys, so that's all of the uh, non-equipment workout. And hopefully that gives you a bit of a home workout for now. But what we're gonna move into now is a bit of a, a little bit of equipment. So a couple of more uh, exercises we can do if we have a few bits and pieces from Amazon. So here I've got the bands, which I talk enough about in my previous video on equipment. And I have um, a glute band here, which I'm gonna do a few exercises with as well. So again, these are six to 10 pound on Amazon. And again, these you're looking at about 10 pound on Amazon. This is a particularly strong one. So I'm gonna show you the technique on that. Uh, but these are absolutely great. So the first thing we're gonna do is have a look at the TKE or the terminal knee extension using this. It's gonna really help with your VMO. And I always advise to do these right from the get-go. And uh, I still do them now. Uh, they're all about VMO and getting that thing popping. So a little bit of hamstring too, because you cheat a bit, but I'll show you that. Okay guys, so I'm strapped in. I've uh, got my band wrapped around my rack. And the band here is placed just slightly above the knee at the back. We push that leg back and essentially flex the knee backwards like that. And if you have a band at home, you'll feel this work. Now this is a high rep activity, so 20 reps, 30 reps of the uh, band. But you can do this and just even just stretching off if you're going to do some exercises. I was advised to do this at the start and the end of an exercise. So this is a terminal knee extension and you can do this with uh, any sort of band you want. As long as you're getting that pullback, again, just sit it nicely above the knee. It's going to kind of move as you go on. But um, yeah, you just flex that back. It's only a small movement about three or four inches of movement, but you should be really accentuating the lock out of the leg and then letting it come back. And you will notice that the front here does start to uh, develop. Okay guys, so this is um, where we're gonna use this glute band uh, or hip band, some people call it. So what I've done is I've put this over my legs. I've tried to lift my shorts so you can see it sits about three or four inches above the kneecap. Okay, and um, one of the exercises I like to do is sort of bend down into it and then you just step out and step in all the way out. And I tend to go the full length of my garage doing this um, back and forth, maybe four to six times before I start doing leg workouts. It's really going to work the glutes here. You're going to feel it firing on the sides of your legs as well. And uh, generally, I absolutely love this piece of kit. Um, the last exercise I'm gonna show you in a second is a really good burnout exercise. And by now you've stood on your leg loads. So you've been on your leg for all of this workout as you would expect. The last exercise you're gonna finally get to sit down. Okay guys, last exercise of the day for me. Uh, I'm coming off the back of a workout on this, uh, this filming, so bear with me. So we've got the glute band again, uh, sitting just above the knee as we had before. This time I'm sitting on the bench and what we're going to do is basically just pull that leg out, hold and bring back in and you're just going to do this. You see, I'm just, it's quite easy using a lot of flexion there, a lot of the, uh, the leg muscle and then obviously go to your other leg. Again, remember rule of thumb, twice as many on your bad as you're good and uh, I tend to do a high reps on this again till I start feeling it pulling around about 16 to 20 reps on each side but yeah it's nice and simple you just pull apart again getting one of these on Amazon uh, will just it will enable you to do so much more with your home workout similarly with the bands that we've used today if uh, anyone wants any more tips or advice with any band workouts let me know I have lots more in the bag um, this is a simple home workout video to uh, to get back to the comments that I had this week. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I've enjoyed putting it together. And remember, anything else that you need, this channel is all about what you need uh, going forward with your recovery. If there's anything I can help with my experiences. So hit me up in Instagram, hit me up on the YouTube comments, and I'll try and facilitate a video that helps you with anything you're struggling with in your recovery. And I'll try and put something together. So have a great week. 
and we'll see you next time.